Yo, what is going on, on YouTube? I really liked how I did my Werewolf by Night video, and even though I did sound a bit monotone, like I had no emotion, I promise you that in this video, it will not be like that. So you're probably wondering, like, you know, by the title, like, hey, Shimon, like, why are you talking about Daredevil Born Again, even though it hasn't been in production? And to you, my fellow viewers, I know it hasn't started production, but I wanted to talk about it because my one hope for this series is I hope they adapt it right. And to, you know, the people that don't, like, you know, follow, like, you know, comics, and you're, you're probably wondering, like, what do you mean adapt it? Yeah, like, it's based off of, off of a comic book, you know, Daredevil Born Again. But, you know, there's also, like, you know, comics before that that lead up to that comic specific. And that whole storyline, man. Oh, dude. Chef's kiss, bro. I believe Frank Miller did it. Oh, my God, dude. Frank Miller. Ooh, that fool goat. I have heard, I've heard bad things about him. But, you know, you gotta admit, bro. His work is... It's working really good. But I'm gonna just say this right now. So if you don't want to potentially be spoiled by the series or even the comic book at all, I suggest you click off the video. But if you do want to get, you know, even more hype for the series and can't wait to see it, you know, in live action, then do continue watching this video. All right, so basically the whole storyline revolves around Karen. Yes, so if you didn't like Karen back in the, you know, OG, you know, Netflix series, then tough luck because this whole, you know, new series is gonna be revolving around her matt murdoch and kingpin so if you're familiar with the you know comic book uh basically you know karen page she actually goes off and does her own stuff she you know she doesn't want to work like in law anymore she becomes independent she wants to be become an actress and you know sometimes life doesn't go the way you want it to go and you know she fails miserably like really hard like she fails pretty hard to the point where she resolves to drugs and she becomes a heavy addict for heroin and then she's like, oh, no, I, I could give this actress thing a chance. She does, but she doesn't become an actress that, you know, she wanted to become. What I mean by that, she becomes an adult actress. And you know what I mean by an adult actress. And it gets to the point where, you know, it gets pretty hard for her. I believe she moved to Mexico or like some sort of island or some, something like that. I don't, I, it's been a while since I read the comic. But, you know, she meets up with the guy and she's like, Hey, I need a fix. And the dude's like, well, you got to give me money. And she's like, well, I don't have any money, but I could give you something more valuable. And as she's saying that, she's like, should I do it? I believe she, she's like in her head. She's like, you know, I can't believe I'm about to do this. I can't believe I snooped this low. So instead of giving the dude money, she gives us something more valuable, which is Daredevil's identity, which is Matt Murdock. That info goes all the way up to Kingpin. And you know how Kingpin, you know, you know how powerful he is. And I don't mean straight, I mean like, this dude, like, we saw him in a Netflix series, dude. That dude manipulated the FBI. The FBI. Which is crazy, dude, how he manipulated them. And he also manipulated jail, dude. Like, come on, dude. They don't call him Kingpin for nothing. So yeah, Kingpin, you know, he calls, uh, he calls up IRS. You know, cancels a whole bunch of stuff for Matt Murdock. You know, he can't pay bills anymore. He can't pay his rent. Matt Murdock then becomes homeless. He's like, you know, what the hell is going on? Like, why is this all happening to me? Like, there's no way they can find out. No way, like, maybe a Kingpin doing it. Like, he kind of, like, contemplates, like, like, is it Kingpin? No, it is him. It's got to be him. He's the only one. He's the only man that can do this to me. But who the hell sold, you know, who the hell told him my identity? And, you know, he starts, he kind of starts going mentally crazy, dude. To the point where he's like, he can't trust anybody. And, dude, oh, my God, we're reading it, dude. Oh, dude, like, oh, man. Dude, this, this comic book, this whole storyline leading up to that comic book is so, so good, dude. Oh my god, dude. I hope, I hope they adapt it right, bro. Because, man, dude. Man, oh man, dude. Like, this, this, like, you know, storyline is really good. Except for the last issue, the last issue. I don't think the last issue is part of the storyline. But, you know, I actually didn't personally like it. But before that, dude, it is so good. And even though I did, like, you know, kind of spoil it for you guys, there's still a whole lot more stuff in the, you know, in the comic that I haven't even talked about, which I won't get into because, you know, they'll, they'll probably change it up, like, once the series comes out. But if they adapt it right, man, into the, you know, Disney Plus series, dude, this series is about to be the best one in Disney Plus, man. Like, oh my god, dude. We saw him in She-Hulk, dog. You saw, oh, man, dude. I'm just, when I saw him, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I got goosebumps, man. And it's like, dude, yo, yo, he's finally home. He's in the MCU. And, oh my god, dude, just, uh, it, it just, 
it's so good seeing him back man seeing him back home probably thinking to yourself like oh yeah like is it gonna be like the netflix series where he like it dives in more into his uh you know law side and not really in the comics they don't really dive into his law side that much it's practically just you know matt Murdock trying to survive in the streets because of you know his life in ruin he can't get a home he doesn't trust anyone because you know he thinks everybody's out to get him and dude i oh my god dude like there's so much stuff that i could get into but you know again i prefer for you guys to read it because it is so good like dude i wish i had a physical copy so i could like you know hang it up in my wall and you know and frame it and i know it's not like you know it's not like a one million dollar piece and you know but i i do not care dude I really don't care. I just want it up in my wall because it's so iconic. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man. You know, I really can't wait for this series. And I, again, I don't want to get too much into this stuff because I really don't want to, like, you know, spoil a whole lot. Even though, like, I did kind of spoil, like, you know, kind of the story. But it wasn't, like, you know, the whole story of it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next.